Hello everyone, this is Pam, $7.47. So I'm coming at you today on Sunday, January the 29th to share with you a haul that I did at Rite Aid. Um, I did do two separate transactions and I have them grouped as I did the transaction. So I did, uh, actually I did three transactions but on two different cards. So I'm gonna go through and explain to you what I got and how these deals worked. I got some great, great deals, some great money savers. Um, I'm going to start over here with the tie deal. So this was part of the points blizzard deal where you spend tw you spend thirty dollars, you get ten dollars back in plenty points. So the tide was four dollars and ninety four cents. I used six of the two dollar off of one coupons and the one twenty nine Procter and Gamble. So I'm going to tell you how this transaction worked overall. On the coupons, you can only do four in a transaction. Um, in the past, I was able to get all six, or if I was buying more than four, I was able to do that without the coupons beeping, and the cashiers never said anything at Rite Aid. So um, someone asked me before, how was I able to do them all in one transaction? Like I said, the, the coupons never beeped, the cashiers never said anything, and I didn't realize it at the time that the coupon only limited you to four so since I was aware of that this time I did go ahead and split split them up because I do like to abide by the rules that's on the coupon so I did split them up in two transactions so I did four in one transaction and then I did the other two in the next transaction so overall the six were 2964 so I had to throw something else in there to reach that $30 uh, requirement so I threw in a Snickers so select uh, candy is part of the points blizzard. So I got the stickers that was 69 cents. So that took my total up to $30.33. So I used $12 in coupons. So I brought it down to $18.33. And then I had that $4.50 Catalina that I got from last week. So my out of pocket was $13.83. I got $10 back in um, the points. So it was like this was a cost of $3.83 for six or 64 cents each. So 64 cents for a Tide, you cannot beat that at all. That was a wonderful, wonderful deal. So I'm going to show you on here my um, receipts. And that $4.50 Catalina came in handy. So this was uh, the first transaction where I got the six. And then... This is when I did the two additional ones, and then I got my 1,000 points. Now, there was a problem with plenty, um, plenty points and their website and everything. Before I went to the store, I did go on their website to see what my available balance was on my card, so I knew how many points I had to work with on each card. And the site said that it was under, uh, it was under um, maintenance. So I wasn't able to get any of my information off of there. I wasn't able to go on and see if there was any other um, offers that they had on there, any plenty uh, partner offers or anything. And then when I went to the store, the cashier did tell me that he was aware that they were having problems with plenty. So um, we couldn't use our plenty points. So you can see that on my um, receipt that it doesn't even tell you how many points you have available because I guess something is they're redoing something with their website or uh, whatever so I had to pay for this out of pocket which I mean I don't mind but it would have been nice to use my points that I've have have accumulated on my cards but anyway 64 cents for Tide wonderful deal with that then over here was my second transaction uh, or on my other card I did uh, the Axe deal I did the deal where if you buy a body spray, you get the shampoo for free. So I managed to find some that was like in the three-in-one where it's the shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So I found two of those, and then I just uh, got the two, uh, the two-in-ones, which is just the shampoo and conditioner. So I got a total of eight there, and they were four dollars and forty-nine cents each. So I used four of the Bob One body spray and get a shampoo free and I want to say it was in this week's um, red plum if it wasn't in this week's red plum it was in last week but I know it was in a red plum insert for the Unilever so 
the total was $35.92 for the eight. And then after using those coupons, it took $17.96 off. So I paid $17.96 out of pocket, but got $10 back and the points blizzard. So it was like I paid $7.96 for the eight or 99 cents each. So each of those was 99 cents, which is a wonderful deal because it was basically a dollar down from $4.49. Great deal there. And then I got the LED light bulbs by GE. So these were buy one, get one free. So they were $7.99 at my store. I used a $2 off of one coupon that was in the 1.8 smart source. And then I had a 300 plenty point LB coupon. And so it was in my little... Um, coupon booklet here that was mailed to me. Uh, I only had one. I wish I had more. Um, but anyway, I used one from there. And uh, so it brought it down to $5.99. Now, with the, when you factor in the points blizzard, um, the return that you, you would get back on that was $1.97. So it brought it down to $4.02. And then because the Plenty site wasn't working and the cashier said, you know, he was looking at the receipt as he was ringing it up. He's like, I don't know if this is going to come off. And he's and so I said, well, it won't show now. It will show at the end that I'll get the 300 points back at the end. And he's like, but I'm not sure that that's going to show because, you know, they're having the issues with the, the Plenty uh, points. So he's like, I'm going to go ahead and just manually give you the $3 off now. So I'm like, okay, you know, that's fine. So that's what he did. So that brought it down to a dollar and two cents for the two or 51 cents each. So it was like the light bulbs were a cost of 51 cents. And so I had looked at the bottom of my receipt just to see if that 300 points would have credited and it and if it would have printed, but it did not. So I'm glad he went ahead and gave me the $3 up front instead of waiting for it to, you know, be added to my card at the end. So that ended up working out great. And then over here, I got the Colgate. Now, the Colgate mouthwash wasn't part of the um, points blizzard deal, but I just threw that in because it was a great deal with this. Um, it was $3.49. They do have a $2 in-ad coupon in the Rite Aid um and insert and then um, I used a two dollar off of one coupon that I had printed probably a week or so ago from coupons.com so uh, each one gave me a 51 cents money maker so that was great right there and so I will show you my receipt from this transaction I'm gonna scan down my receipt So this one was $19.93, excluding the tax. And here you can see he gave me, he just went ahead and pushed that $3 through now. So it was $19.93, and then I got back the $10. So it was like a cost of $9.93. So that was a great deal with that. Okay, guys, so this was my haul for Rite Aid. If any other deals come up, I will come back and post it. Now, also, I want to mention on this, I do have um, some overage. I have, or not overage, but I have um, $13.31 tracking towards doing the points blizzard deal again. So I only need to spend an additional $16 and then I can get uh, the $10 back. So um, I'm going to get my coupons together and um, before the end of the week, I will come back and post the additional things that I that I ended up buying um, to uh, do the points blizzard deal again on this card. And I do have one more coupon left for the Axe where you can buy the body spray and get a um, shampoo for free. So I know I'm going to do that deal. And so I'll see what else is going on. Okay, guys. So uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will talk to you soon.